What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're just gonna start it right off. Okay, we have a drone, and then tied to it, we have a croc. We're, yeah, we're just testing right now. So like you see the title of the video, we're about to go fishing with the drone. So in order to go fishing with the drone before we do that, we gotta test its limits. In this case... Little plastic is croc around the field. Oh, wrong one. Oh! Oh my goodness. What we think about it, boys, what we think about it. You don't really see this every day, but I guess today you are. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I think we're ready. Okay, guys, we're down at the pond right now. We're about to get cooking. We're about to, you know, start testing everything. My boy Chuck is still here, but recently we found out that Chuck's not a boy. Chuck is a girl. But over here she is, man. I mean, we just came down here. We didn't know what he's doing. We just come down here to the pond. I look over, see this little white thing. Lo and behold, it's stinking Chuck. Just sitting there chilling like a villain. Maybe Chuck can give us some good luck. Because let me tell you guys, she's a savage. Now here's the plan, guys. We have the drone here and everything. Here's the pond. Now if you know about this pond as much as I do, which a lot of you guys actually do, there's a bunch of catfish in here along with a lot of bluegill. We're not gonna start off trying to get too crazy, okay? We're gonna go for bluegill. I mean, if we can get like 8,000 likes on this video, yeah, we'll come out here and we will catch a stinking catfish. But as for right now, we're gonna play it safe. We're just gonna try to get a bluegill. Cause a bluegill, what? Six inches, seven inches, eight inches at most? Should be no problem for a drone. Plus it'll be like extremely epic. We'll save a catfish for later, but like we just said guys, 8,000 likes and we'll be out here with a catfish, no doubt, I promise. Now the bait we're gonna be using is just straight white bread. But whenever I throw a piece of white bread in there, we get about two nibbles from a bluegill, then a catfish comes up and swarps it. So I'm gonna have to bait up in a way to where I'm not necessarily gonna catch catfish. And I think the biggest way I'm gonna be able to do that is just ball it up in little bite-sized balls for a bluegill, that way a catfish won't even be interested. That's what it's gonna take, guys. Otherwise, we're probably gonna lose the drone to a catfish. Test my theory. Got a little piece of white bread, ball it up, and chuck it out there. Hopefully, we won't get catfish interested, because like I said, that's not what we're after. That's not what we're targeting. There, see right there, we've already got bluegill attacking it. Really small balls. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking like a size like that. Not very big at all. Very small, about the size of a fingernail or something. It, or smaller. Smaller is probably better. Because my plan is to, you know, have a little piece like this on the end of the drone. Come down, dip it in. Hopefully if we can get these bluegill fired up like I think we can. I think it won't take no longer than like two seconds baiting the water and we'll get one. So I'm just gonna keep chumming them up a little bit. And then there's one more thing we're gonna do just to be safe. Because today we really don't wanna catch catfish. Like that's almost just as important as catching a bluegill is not catching a catfish. But to ensure there's no catfish in the area, I have this. Now you guys have never saw me use this before. This is actually a deeper smart. It is a portable castable fish finder. I just got it, like just got it. This one's actually the deeper pro plus. But if you have no idea what this is, like I said, it's a portable castable fish finder. So I hold it on here, cast it out there like that. Yeah, I gotta have a decently big rod for this. I'm using like 30 pound braid, but it's perfect. And then there's actually an app on your phone to where you can connect it to your phone and you can just straight up have a fish finder out there and cast it wherever you want. What's really cool about it is, is like the fish finder itself doesn't have an on off button. It turns on whenever it senses water. Now I can come over here to the app itself and we're stinking looking at it. This is crazy. Look at this dude. Here, let's get down in the shade. Here's what we're looking at. I can see the bottom. We're looking at what? Five and a half, six feet right there. Have some soft bottom, definitely for sure. That's catfish right there. That's a fish. That's a fish. All those little arcs, those are all fish. I'm going to get on my reel right here and I'm just going to reel it forward. That way we can have the fish finder moving and we can continue to see. There's some fish. There's actually a fish right there on the bottom. If we see any lines coming from the bottom all the way to the top, that's actually fish coming up to look at the fish finder because they find it interesting. And the farther I reel it right here, the farther we get closer to the bank, and now we're only about three feet. So I'll recast it right now. We'll cast it right over there, right on top of where I was throwing that bread, and we'll just check and see if there's any more fish. And if we see any huge marks, we'll know that maybe we shouldn't throw it in just yet because that could be a catfish ready to, you know, KO the drone at any moment. See right there, that right there, that's a pretty big fish right there we just went over. That's probably a catfish, the size of it. 
Because I'm moving my fish finder pretty big, so the bigger arcs are bigger fish. But overall, guys, I mean, he could just be swimming through. I think we're pretty good to go right now. I think we're just going to go right there because we've done that whole section right there and we only saw one big fish. And I think that maybe we can be able to see him coming and jerk it up before, you know, he destroys my drum. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up. But if you like that deeper, like I'm going to be using it a lot this year simply because why would I not? But if you'd like one of your own, I've actually got a link and a promo code down in the description. Use that promo code and it'll get you a discount if you're interested. The link to the website's there also if you want to go check out the prices and stuff. But right here is about what we're about to put in the water. Small, simple, there's nothing crazy about it. I'm just looking to dip it in, a bluegill come up, snatch it, and then we'll yank the drone up and maybe there'll be a fish go flying with it. Oh, there we go. There he goes, lift off, take the bread out of my hand. Now let's come over here and let's dip it in the water. Oh my gosh, dude, if we can catch a fish like this, this may change the game forever. Like FLW, here I come. Me and my drone. I'm just going to dip it in. The fish were a little bit closer to us, so I'm going to bring it over. Here we go. Okay, back from a little bit like that. And there we go. Dip it in. Let's see how long this takes. This may or may not take a long time. It's in the water right now. Oh, that's not... Oh, dang it. We've already lost our bait. Okay, this actually may be the hardest part. Because I'm not controlling the drone. It's supposedly on GPS, but it sure ain't staying in the same spot. And uh, there you go, buddy. See you later. Okay, now let's get this thing over here. And let's try to catch us a bluegill. I'm going to have to go manual. I'm going to have to manually pilot this thing. And now I come down, bring it down a little bit, stop it, pull down, pull down. We are good right there. If I can just keep it in the same position very long, if I can keep it in the position it's in, which may be the hardest part, no doubt, I think we can do it. Well, here's what I'm looking at right here. I've just got to keep steady pressure on it and make sure that, uh, well, the rig doesn't just come flying out of nowhere. I think we can do it, though. I think we really can. I think we're going to have to... Uh... Okay, guys, it is a new day, new bait. We got worms this time. I don't think the bluegill are going to want to pass up worms as much as they did the bread. I'm going to give you a legit estimate. I'm going to give it five seconds. Bring it back here a little bit and drop it in. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we had a bite. Oh, wow. Ah, we're getting better. I told you it wouldn't take too long. Right there. Wait, wait. Oh, we got a fish with a drone. We got a fish with a drone. <laughs> okay, where's he going? No, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh well, how do we stop it? Here we go. We got a fish on the drone. That's a pretty good size one too. He's not extremely small. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring the drone down. Just a little bluegill, just like I was saying. And we're still on our first worm, so we can probably put this right back in there and get another one. See? Good as new. And there you go. Swim off just fine. Come here, Melvin. Just let me hook you. And you'll be good. Okay. So, uh... Alrighty, there you go. Five, four, three, one. Two, one. Got hey! It. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. That's a good one. Oh, and then we just bring him over. Easy now, buddy. Drone's a little bit crazy going on itself. But look at that, guys. That is a pretty big fish for a drone. Just a pretty little bluegill. Got some bluegills right here. Everything's good. Pop the hook. Come down on the hook. Comes pop. Uh, well, maybe. Pops right out. We'll let the drone go do some more fishing by itself. It likes to go. But here's the fish. Toss him back in. And just like that, guys, we just went fishing with a drone, and it worked. Okay, guys, right now, I'm about to show you one of my new guns. Now, you guys have never saw it before, and, well, let me just go ahead and show you. Right here it is, a 1911. This is actually my first 1911. Got it not too long ago at all. It has a mock suppressor that's not a real one. It's just for looks. It literally does nothing but make the gun heavier. I'm sorry. But overall, here it is. It's a GSG, and... 
I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks really cool. Now, it only shoots a 22, so it's nothing big or anything, but that also means that, one, it's cheaper to buy the gun, and two, it's like, you know, cheaper to shoot. This gun was like under $300. It was like 260 or something. It was like amazingly really cheap, and so far I've shot one mag out of it, but today I'm actually going to sight it in and, well, let you guys see it. Now, before I go ahead and shoot the gun, I'm going to go ahead, put on some ear protection and eye protection, both of which are KG. I don't know if you can see that or not. These are the KG shooting kit. You can buy it on kindlegrade1.com slash shop. It's just a good overall kit. It comes with both the glasses and the ear protection. That way, you know, it's the complete set to go, you know, shoot stuff and be safe doing it. Here we go. I'm going to shoot a few rounds. All right, I shot a few rounds. It's only a 10-round magazine, so it can kind of go fast sometimes. Okay, guys, now we're going to walk on up close range. Honestly, about the range I'll be using this pistol. I'm not going to be trying to use this very far. Here we go. I want to show you guys what I just done. Are you kidding me? Did I really just do that? Like, yeah, these back here, these are all really big and like really broad range. But I just shot those three shots and two of them hit right there in the middle. All these shots up here, those are ones that I shot a few minutes ago. But I just shot two right there in the bullseye. This is a nice gun, guys. I like it. It's a good one. Here's a first person view, I guess. I don't know. tell you what guys don't forget 8,000 likes and we're gonna come out here we'll do it for a catfish and if you're not already in the gray gang go ahead hit that subscribe button and become a gray gangster and until next time guys i don't know say bye to junior and we'll see you hey what's going on guys make sure to always comment like subscribe and remember to buy someone's merch like this uh face mask or pop socket at kennegray1.com slash shop hashtag jesus hashtag gray gang